Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday the 17th of May. This is the 8 a.m. breakfast movement snack. Is this the one that you want? If it is, uh, stay tuned because we'll be going live in about four and a bit minutes. If not, scroll along, find the, uh, find the date you're after, or the luxury of catch up is you can remove all this preamble and get to the crux of the movement snack. But for now, we say good morning to all the live movement snacking arrivals. Um, Scotland, Wales and England are in. Um, Dawn, Bob, Chris, in that order, I think. Jane, Jane Andrews, I'm so impressed. You were, you were, that was some serious late night slacking, slacking, snacking last night. I think it's the latest catch up call I've ever, ever seen on the phone. So Jane, big turnaround, late shift, early shift. Hello, Sally, Barry Port. Uh, morning, Angela from Overcast, Wilmslow. Maddie's in, Jane's in from Edinburgh. Come on, come on, come on. Bolton, morning. Anything to report? I know it's only eight o'clock, but you know, lots can happen. It's a fast moving world at the minute. Um, I didn't watch it, but delighted to, to hear and read that ABBA won the Eurovision vote. Anyone else watching Eurovision last night? Uh, <laughs> Diana, all ready to flex with Bex. Thank you. Uh, morning, Apostolis from Greece. Now, in, I, I'm still deciding whether or not to do this, but I, I have a, a photograph here that I'm, I'm just still deciding whether or not to show you. And of course, now I've, I've teased, I think I have to, but I'm only going to flash it very quickly and I'm not going to post it. And Dawn Scout, and don't you either. It's going to be committed to a, a three second show, I think, but that's it. Uh, morning, Berkshire. <clears throat> Dawn managed half an hour of Eurovision and moved on. It's quite enough. Morning, Bristol. Um, Bob saying it's lovely round the harbour. My, my brother's just realised what photograph this is. Is it the hat one? It's the hat one the day I went to see ABBA in 1979. Yes. Uh, hello, Alison. You watch the Eurovision. Deb from uh, Wales. Um, <laughs> can't say the comments are flying up too quickly. Are we ready to uh, accumulate an extra 10 minutes in about 30 seconds, I reckon? Uh, cool, grey, Gateshead, I, Carol. So uh, I'm going to do the three, two, one. But before we do that, I'm going to show you this. Um, I am the biggest ABBA fan in the world. And... That's the day I went to see ABBA in 1979. Can you see? That's it. That's the end of that. So um, let's do the three, two, one. Three, two, one. Good morning. My name is Bex Downley. It's Sunday, the 17th of May. And this is the first 10 minutes of three sets of 10 minutes that we're going to accumulate in the movement benefits bag today and the morning snack is all about um, taking our joints through fuller comfortable ranges of motion to get us ready for the day sit and stand options let's go um, during this first 10 minutes of the day not looking to challenge balance take up lots of support so you feel confident to move freely hand on at a level that's uh, appropriate for you steady standing uh, balance position and then we start the circulation boost this is a minute a minute or so designed to do exactly that to boost the circulation increase the blood flow increase the blood and oxygen to all the moving parts and prepare us not only for this 10 minutes of course but for your day once we've started to move there's a series of prompts that hopefully have already started to be embedded in your mind, starting with lift from the hip between the ribs as long as you can here. This 
creates loads more activity and provides better support. Open the chest, this means I can stand more upright and it uh, enables me to move my arms and shoulders more freely. And then perhaps most critically is the ankle, feet and toe action going on here at the feet. Keep going with that in stand, bringing alternate arms as and when you're ready. Here's the sit prompts if you haven't already. Hip walk forward, lift and shift. This is gonna make it easier to sit freely and unsupported from the chair. So trunk is doing the work. From the top down here is the arm, the arm march from the shoulder. Got this bent position at the elbow. That helps me be really effective in this rhythmical action brings in a little bit of trunk movement and enables me to take this backward press through the elbow. Feet options are toe taps. If you're gonna start with toe taps, did you notice my feet went slightly forward? If you're gonna start with heel raises, the feet need to come slightly back. And then as and when you feel ready, we can bring those together and knit it all together nicely for some uh, upper body and lower body working together. Hands together, that might help with coordination and guiding the elbow. And in stand, if you feel you can stand comfortably and rhythmically move the arms, everything is working together, integrated around this really strong support. After that, you should get uh, the need to perhaps take a deeper breath. We're looking to just switch the off buttons from sleep into the on buttons to action and we want to do that gradually and steadily and we all respond at different times to these movements so feel feel and judge the size of the movement that's best for you continuing now maintaining these lift support positions through the trunk we're going to work through a series of mobility movements that look to take our range of motion through its most comfortablest and fullest for you. Here I've gone straight into this shoulder roll. Feel your way around this, I'm gonna come closer so you can see. If you feel that you may want to do a shrug, a couple of shoulder shrugs first to explore that up and that down, yeah, do that. And then as and when you feel you can, you can combine that up and down with this circular action as well. So more, uh, more, uh, more bang for your buck, what is it they say? Double whammies in there. So the fullest range here, and this involves the shoulder, my head stays still. Make sure you keep this lifted open posture position. And uh, I guess the biggest thing here is make sure you have done the down, all the way down before you go set off for the next one. Controlled within your, uh, within your comfort zones, within your range of movement, you may feel that one side is more mobile than the other, so you might want to pay a little bit more attention to one side and, and feel how that is for you. Four, four or five, no more. We're just looking for fullest range of motion. Having kind of prepared the, the bottom part of the pyramid, let's continue the triangle now to the, the head turns. So here's the head turns. If you've been with us for eight weeks, you'll be familiar with these and perhaps you're starting to feel uh, freer movement, more mindful, perhaps you've evened up on some sides that weren't perhaps quite so mobile. Key points here to think about. Head and uh, the nose and the chin stay at the same level. I'm looking left to right. My shoulders uh, remain still, nothing else is moving. And the pause is here in the center. Any head movement may challenge your balance to a lesser or greater degree. So if in stand, take up support so you can feel confident to turn the head freely. And anything in standing that requires me to be static a little bit wider on the feet, really solid, strong support down at the bottom end. Seated option is the same. Ensure that in this, this centre pause, have another check that you're as lifted, this optimum position here, before you take the turn. All of these mobility moves on a, on a breakfast movement snack are slow, controlled. Think about the ranges of motion in each direction and look to improve upon that or maintain it over time. 
third element of our, of our top triangle, as we're calling it, we love a trio here on the Movement Snack team. So we've done the base, we've done the head turns, here's the, the third movement, have a look. Turning sideways, always on the best side, of course. Back press, so this is the, the head movement here. The end of my nose remains in a forward position, and there. And all of these three together, and especially this one, serves to help support the head in its optimum position on the neck so that I can stand upright, so that I can move shoulders, arms more freely. So they all work together and all of these are slow and controlled. Can you see here, if I do it facing you, there's no other movement. It's a back press, as if I'm pressing my head back into a soft pillow here. And over time, over time, uh, we're looking to help really mobilise and also strengthen the position of the head. The head is very heavy. I think perhaps the heaviest part of, part of our body and depending on what position we're in, it becomes even heavier in context of that, that load on our spine. Anyway, ready steady. A little bit more static boost, so uh, a little bit of rhythmical movement to boost the circulation again with the arms. Uh, we can uh, creep up on the range if you would like, but keep it steady, it's just a circ boost. We don't want to go into huff and puff, out of breath stuff. Just keep in the circulation ticking over, as it were. And then we come down to the trunk position. So we have another trio here. Three different ranges of motion that we use in everyday life, across the board, in sit or in stand. First one we're going to do is the, uh, the trunk turn. We're turning the body, therefore the balance might be challenged. Take up support if you think that's best for you. Slightly wider on the feet, this helps with balance and stability and it enables me to really fix the hips, especially if I bend the knee a fraction, or just unlock the knee, can you see that? So it's just a little knee unlock this really helps me use the muscles of my legs to fix the hips so that when I take the turn, nothing else moves. And I'm using support, I'm using that support to guide me around. So there's no balance challenge here. I'm just looking for movement, more movement, pausing in the middle. You may feel you want to have a release in the middle, adjust and set up again. Take, take your time on all these. You might want to go around again when we're done here on the snack. Keep going if that's the standing option. In sit, just consider, we've, uh, whereas in stand we just think about the feet on the floor, in seated we need to think about sit bones and buttocks on the chair. Both of these body parts in contact with those surfaces affect our support. Same thing here, the lift remains. This is, this is how we're looking to improve the, effic the efficiency and the comfort of this. Again, you might want to have a little, uh, a little sink in the middle, come up again and turn. Hands and arms can do whatever you want here. They can go with you or you can support them. They keep moving. I only pause in the middle. I move to the side and come back out. Our buttocks stay in the chair. Second of the, the trunk trio is the side bend. So we've done the turn, as in looking over shoulder, getting seat belts, uh, lifting, grabbing, grasp, mobilising in bed, or trunks integral and all of that. Here we go now for the sides. Slightly wider on feet, because even though we're in a chair, we still need seated balance. So if you think your balance is going to be challenged in chair position, feet a little bit wider, and really loads of anchor. So think about keeping your sit bones into the chair. Then we take the, the bend and come straight back again. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. Here's the lift. Support or arms on chair if you have. It's the bend and come back again. Pause here in the center and we take these alternating, disappearing out shot. Feel your way around those. Here's uh, the same prompts in stand, but even more focus on the where the weight is across your feet. So as I take a bend this way, 
and come back. Nothing's changed about the weight distribution across my feet. So solid anchor base, here's the base of support literally, and then I can move down and up from that. And there's lots of things you could add in here. You can add a little functional reach out if you want to add this. But what I have is uh, a feeling of stretch perhaps on this side, but we keep it moving. Third part of the trio is the back extension. We talked a lot about this uh, in sit or stand, anchor the feet, take up support. The weight across the feet stays in exactly the same place. And it really depends on your how your posture is as to how, how big or small these, this range of motion is. Have a look. I'm going to move my arm out of the way so you can, so you can see. So from, usual, from your usual posture position, upright. And then we add an extra extend and return. You might feel that hand here on the buttocks, either palm of hand or back of hand, may help guide that movement a little bit more. It moves in and comes straight back out. It keeps moving. Head and eyes stay forward. Direction of the nose stays forward. And in sit. Before you take it in sit, We've talked a lot about this, this tilt position. We need this to happen first. Need this bit to happen first. So as part of my upright, upright comes with that whole tilt position and then an extra squeeze and come back out. Take your time on those. Don't overcook it. Two, three, four, five max. Best sampled and integrated in your day. So if you've been spending lots of time flexed, spending lots of time at a table. If you're working, just take time to come up and upright and out. So we're looking to counteract all these flexed and, and uh, slumpy positions over the day. All right, a little bit, uh, a little bit more injection of circ boost with arms. Here's the seated option. A little bit more back press on the elbow. Bigger movements, not faster, bigger movements. It's movement we're after here. Ankles, if you know what's coming in stand, continue. In seated, here's your options. Back into uh, hip walk back. And if uh, feet, ankles and toes and lower limb is not on your radar, that those movement options aren't available to you, continue with lift and shift from left to right and on a hip walk forwards and back if ankles, feet and toes are not an option. Here we go, here's the options. This one here, if we take it in this position, knee needs to be bent. This is important. If the leg is too straight, you're gonna create a stretch sensation that's gonna impede that movement. So we want to take the stretch off, if you see what I mean. Uh, and here we go. Now, uh, in the morning session, I wear, so we all wear socks so you can get ankles, feet and toes going. You can give your toes a Mexican wave while you're going with that, if you'd like. Uh, any other nationality of wave applies, of course. There you go, same here. Two options, So, and we're after really specific flex and point here. This is how we walk, this is the how the ankles move, or two of the movements, there are others. Uh, Kels did the ankle strengthener yesterday for the inverters and inver uh, inverters, everters, sorry. But here we're just focusing on here, and this is how we place our feet as we, as we walk. Or hip walk forward, you might want the standing one, which is here. Now when you do this kind of stuff in a chair, you can see I've got some hip movement, and you might feel a bit squeezed in the hips, especially if you're quite tall. So you might want to take some long legs as well, just to break up the, the, the squashiness in the hip. Or, here we go, here's the stand option. Heel toe. Same thing, heel, knees, uh, hips, knee and ankle all working together. Try to get as much out of the ankles, feet and toes as we can. If you're doing that comfortably without concern, translate that into a functional step where you can bring that ankle range into a stride with support. And can you see, it's not just the ankles, I'm bringing the whole of the trunk into that stride as well. And you can start to feel, I think, here where our heel raises and our toe raises come in from our functional strength set. 
So mobility, we need the mobility so that we can do the strength. And we need the flexibility so that we can do the mobility. And that's why we try to get all of these elements across these three movement snacks. Crowbar in before now and 12, you've got 12 on the noon day. Think about uh, crowbarring in some jockey lifts or some buttock, buttock ups and pressing the heels into the floor or the full sit to stand and the slow, 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 slow sit. So every time you sit down today, think about sitting a little bit slower. Optimise every opportunity where we can. That's your first 10 minutes today. That's the first 10 of 30. At the end of every day, uh, tomorrow is the start of week nine. Uh, and we're accumulating 30 additional movement minutes every single day. And not only are they additional movement minutes, but hopefully you can hear from a South Davon Kaus, these are really mindful, meaningful prompts to enhance what you're already doing. It's a win-win. Keep on moving. Uh, Chaos at 12, Dave at 4. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great, great day. Thank you, folks.